Hi everyone, my name is Adrian. Um, today I'm going to start making a series of videos on uh, setting up a home uh, virtual lab environment. Um, that means you can set up virtual machines, uh, either it's Windows or Linux uh, virtual machines. So you can do testing or if you want to practice doing some certifications and all that. Um, so I'm going to start from scratch. Um, as you can see on your screen here, I've got a terminal here. I'm using um, Ubuntu 14.04 on my machine here. So my computer specs are as follows. Um, it's got it's a um, Core i7 with about eight cores altogether, and we've got here about 32 gigs of RAM, which is plenty enough for making uh, a few virtual machines. And my swap space is there. I'm just going to close that. Um, or you can do a cat proc CPU info gives you how many cores and this information can tell you as well if your um, computer is uh, is able to do um, virtualization is if you can search for that VMX here um, so what we're going to do now is install um, KVM so I already got KVM installed on my machine there, but I'm just going to go show you the command on how to install it. So if you go sudo apt get install KVM, and we've just got some other um, programs to install with it, but inst. So we got KVM, libvert dash bin, and vert inst. So if you just install these three, press enter. You can see I already got everything installed, so just go ahead and install that and we should be okay to go to the next stage. So after installing um, KVM, um, if you go to your start menu here and just type in virtual and you should see a program here called virtual machine manager. Just click on that and virtual manager uh, should open like this. Um, now you can see that I've already got several machines set up um, but you will have nothing at when you install it originally. Um, so you'll get something similar to this um, just to give you an idea how it's going to work. So these are actual virtual machines, some of them are turned off at the moment, these two are turned off. Um, so here you can see that there's a CPU usage and um, you can actually add more so it's by just clicking on that gives you a um, a monitoring uh, view of each VMs. Now it's pretty simple to use here. You can just uh, click on new machine here to start to create a new machine. So we'll go through that afterwards. Um, so now you can see here it's got local hosts. Um, if you double click on that, that should open this box uh, which gives you some some uh, settings some details of your of the actual virtual virtual host um, setup so we'll tell you here host name so that's my computer so the the Ubuntu installation on my machine so that's the host name it's got 32 gigs of RAM logical it cores the architecture gives you some performance see how much memory is being used at the moment um, it's about 9 gig now because I've got several machines still running um, but you wouldn't have any at the moment so it will be probably just a little bit. Um, so if we go here virtual networks so by default we create um, the default virtual network which gives this um, IP network here 192.168.122 um, we won't be using the default network um, because I want to make all my virtual machines private um, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up the network um, for that so this is what I'm going to try to use here the name is internal network as in network here so it's going to have a network IP of uh, 192.168.100.0 so it won't have this network doesn't have access to the internet at all so it's private um, yeah, here by default as well, it's going to set up the actual directory where your all your 
virtual machine is going to lie. So by default, it's going to look, it's going to be located in the slash var slash lib slash libvirt slash images on uh, any uh, Linux uh, installation. So I won't be using this one as well. What I've done is uh, created, a, I've got a partition, uh, actual hard drive, separate hard drive. I've uh, mounted on this machine under slash media slash VM. These are this is a virtual machine. I won't show you guys how to mount um, hard drives and all that. So you can just go ahead and use a default if you have enough space. So just for my case, I'll be using this. So, but you guys just can use the default whenever it comes. So um, this shows all my virtual. So if you look at the all these images here, all these VMs, their images are actually stored in that directory slash media. This is where you see all the images. Um, then network interface, um, it's going to show the default ETH, ETH0. Um, I'll be setting up a bridge interface as well. Um, so on my computer, I've got actually ETH0 and ETH1. Um, I'm going to be setting a bridge using ETH1. My ETH0 is just a normal standard uh, where my internet comes from on my machine here. So the ETH1 will be the bridge um, so that my VMs can go to the internet. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys um, step by step how to do all that. So see you guys in the next video.